it wasn't rocking with me. When I started doing what you're saying, I, I'm, in, I'm so much in my power now, it is ridiculous. Now, if I can get him online, um, depending on how much time we have because of the fact that we got cut off, I would like to, for him to testify because a lot of people hear things better. It moves and vibrates with them better when they hear it from a man or if they hear it from a so-called white man. Now, he is a melanin-rich brother, but he's male. And for some of you, it's only valid when a male can verify it or validate it. And sometimes if it's a melanin-rich male, that's not good enough. You need a European to tell you that it's true for you to accept it as the truth because you can't buy it coming from me. And I can tell that a lot of people don't buy it just based on some of the discussions that I go through on the phone with some folks. Now, there are some things that I want people to be very clear on. We're dealing with people who are not sane, that are misruling the whole planet, and they are deliberately causing a bunch of people to start participating in mactation, either deliberately or uh, incidentally. And mactation is spelled M like money, A, C like Charles, T like Tom, A, T like Tom, I-O-N. Mactation means to kill a victim for sacrifice. Too many people are misunderstanding everything. They don't understand anything, and they're doing things wrong. Now, I'm going to try to clarify it for some people. They talk about uh, people having altars and doing sacrifices and shedding blood and sacrifice. I'm going to tell you again, just like I clarified the Ark of the Covenant for you, just like I claim, uh, clarified Joseph's coat of many colors. And one of these days I'm going to clarify Joseph for you, or Yosef, Yosef, Yosef. I'm going to clarify that for you one of these days. Or Iosef, because I-O really means purple or violet. You know what I'm saying? So when you get clear, because J-I-Y are technically all, this, actually J-I-Y and H are technically the same letter, like L and R are technically the same letter. So Joseph is Yosef, is Eosef or Iosef. So anyway, to shed blood and sacrifice is completely misunderstood by people that are bass awkward, and they have everyone else going out of the world bass awkward. And I'm going to say this, either they did not comprehend what was being told to them when people were trying to share insight or it was clearly understood and they're deliberately and on purpose misleading people. It's more probable that they did not comprehend it at first, but eventually when they did comprehend it, they chose not to try to correct it for anyone. Now let me tell you what shed blood in sacrifice is. I'm going to break it down by giving you the definitions of the words first so that you get it. And for all of you guys that are in this other stuff with your altars, I'm going to clarify that for you as well because too many people do things and they don't know what they're doing and they don't know why they're doing it. I keep telling you, don't do anything unless you know why you're doing it, what you're doing, and why you're doing it. If you don't know what you're doing and why you're doing it, don't do it. Kind of like when I was on that nam yo ho renge kill. It's like, okay, well, what am I saying? What does this mean? Nobody wants to tell you what the blazes you're saying. So I couldn't even go to more than one or two meetings with that nonsense. It's like, I'm not going to sit up here saying a bunch of crap and I don't know what I'm talking about. At any rate, um, uh, and I think I was the only melanin-rich person in the whole place with a bunch of Chinese people and maybe two Europeans. And we're sitting up there on this nam yo ho renge kyo chant. So um, <clears throat> shed means to send forth light, sound, influence, etc., to cause blood to flow to flow out, pour, or emit. Now that sounds deep when you don't know what blood means. So let me tell you what blood means. Blood means life force, the vital principle, a hot spark, the fluid that circulates through the arteries, veins, and in the principal vascular system. Now, that doesn't mean much unless you know what fluid means because blood is the fluid that is circulating through your veins. Now, peep this definition of fluid. Fluid is water, spirit, and air, 
all of those are fluid substances. Now, just so you know for the record, water does flow through your vascular system. Air flows through your vascular system. Spirit flows through your vascular system. Any uh, 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 fluid is also a substance such as liquid or gas that is capable of flowing and which changes its shape at a steady rate when acted upon by a force. A force is something that pushes or pulls, okay? Now, fluid also means to flow. Now, let me, let me, let me recap what I just said. Shed blood, which is fluid, in sacrifice. Let me clean it up for you, for those that don't understand, because they're working in the low root chakras of physicality, because they don't get it. When I tell you to take the salt back to clean your energy field, and then I tell you to do the sounds, those sounds are a force that pushes and pulls energy into and out of your chakra wheels or your energy vortexes that are spiraling wheels that are turning at certain, shock, uh, certain points on the physical and spiritual bodies. Now, when you um, shed, which means to emit light and sound, and do re mi fa so la ti si is sound, that moves light because it moves atoms and molecules, that is going to cause energy to pour forth. Gases and blood are going to pour forth. Blood is life force and vital principle. You know what I'm saying? So the energy that is going into and out of your chakra wheels is blood. It is a fluid, invisible, because it's in the form of light, sound, air, and gas. Do you get it? Now, keep in mind that fluid means spirit and air. So you are um, shedding blood when you do these sounds, and no one is dying here. You're not causing any. You're not participating in lactation. You're not killing any individual. I haven't asked anybody to do anything that's going to cost you a lot of money, unless you have a salt problem. Well, now you got to go and buy uh, uh, some genuine uh, quartz crystals. But I'm telling you to do things that are free or cheap that aren't going to hurt you. As a child, if you were in the choir or if you were in Anything like that, you've heard do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. But they had you going back to do, which is going to lock you on the lower chakras in the root red of fear, sex, greed, and survival. And we have to get up above that. So I want you to go do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, si, and stop at C because that's going to lock you at the crown chakra, the, 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 the center above your head. And I'm not telling you anything that should be so scary for you and so complicated. Again, I am trying to remove the spookism and the mystery out of spirituality. Now, for those of you that are into witchcraft, magic, voodoo, um, sacrifices, altars, uh, Orisha work, whatever this is, do your thing. I'm not the one. I don't know anything about that stuff. You know, maybe this stuff will help you with that stuff, but I'm suggesting to you that you need to break off from some of that and do this because it's going to get you higher faster. And if I can get this brother on, I'm going to have him give you an example of what I'm talking about. And if I can't get him on, I'll tell you myself about his success. But I don't want to say too much because I don't want anybody going after him. It's like, oh, no, no, Nick getting too powerful too fast. So we don't want nobody going after anybody either. Now, again, he's becoming so powerful that they might not be able to get next to him, actually. But let me tell you about sacrifice. So I'm telling you that when you do what I'm saying, you are shedding blood, but you're not killing anybody and you're not shedding blood the way people on low thought think that you're supposed to do it. Just because they don't get it doesn't mean you shouldn't get it. Now I'm clarifying it for you and shedding light on a concept to clean up your thinking so you don't participate in vast, awkward stuff. Because there are melanin and rich people out there that are actually committing sacrifices. I haven't said go cut the tongue out of any cows, bleed or sacrifice any goats, 
skin any children, ring the necks of no chickens. I haven't said go stand on Mount Everest on June 21st at midnight. It's not that serious. It's not that serious. It's power comes from within. And anybody that thinks they have to kill anything at all to get in their power is on some whole other shit, and they need to get off my shit. Log off. Don't listen to me because I have nothing for you. I don't even want you doing anything I'm saying because you're bass accurate and you're going to be a problem for the rest of the world, probably for me. Now, listen to sacrifice. Now, I'm telling you you're shedding blood, but they want you to shed blood in sacrifice. Sacrifice is a two-part word. It's the word sacer or sacred plus the word thick. Because remember, vowels are removable and interchangeable, so F-I-C-E is really F-I-C. Sacred and sacer mean holy, cursed, and damnable. Sice or thick means to make, cause, or produce. So to sacrifice means to cause or make something become cursed and damnable. So as soon as you go out and you commit mactation and you kill anything trying to sacrifice something to empower yourself, you have already caused a whole damnable and cursed event, and you're on some bass backward stuff, and you're going out of here wrong, and you're, in, you're stuck in the animal realm. And I'm trying to get you higher than that. And some people, maybe they're stuck there because they can never get higher than that. For people that can't get higher than that, you are where you need to be. So this is the science of, you know, uh, uh, keeping things in an order and doing things in an order. Now, I'm going to give you these sounds one more time. And I think a lot of the mactation or causing the killing is because people misunderstand the concepts of that thing that they call white power and that thing that they call black power. You understand? Back in the 60s and 70s, it was all about so-called black power. Then it became all about so-called white power. Well, people don't understand. The concept of the thing they were calling so-called black power was really matriarchy. It's leave me alone. I'm not bothering you. Don't bother me. I'm not bothering you. You do you, I do me. That's the concept of what they call black power. The concept of so-called white power, that's some patriarchal, you do what I say, you do as I say, and you, 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 I'll kill you or you die if you don't. And, you know, the, the, the whole incident that took place at Attica Prison is a prime example. Under patriarchy or what they're currently labeling it as so-called white power, when really it's just crazy patriarchy on some whole other stuff, it was about killing innocent people, including a multitude of so-called, some so-called white people, so-called white inmates, so-called white guards were murdered by the powers that want to be. They, might have, they blamed it on the inmates, but it wasn't the inmates. It came out that it was the so-called guards killing all these other people, and they thought it was all about just killing black people. Like, oh, that's white power. No, that's not white power. That's patriarchy. That's kill anything and anybody, and you just don't care because you're on some other shit because you're bass backward and you don't get it, or you're jealous of the matriarch. And that's probably more what it is, jealous of the matriarch. And a lot of people are out here running out uh, situations that are really um, patriarchy with a male, uh, European patriarchy with a melanin-enriched face on it now because now we have a lot of brothers trying to resurrect uh, or trying to uh, uh, resurrect the American empire or the melanin-enriched empire under patriarchy. Ain't going to work, ain't going to work. You're going to continue to fail. Not enough women at the top. And some of the women that you have at the top are bass with bimbos. They're so busy trying to impress some man. They're so busy trying to find a husband or a father for their children, or they want to have a child because, you know, my biological clock is ticking. I need a man. And, hey, this is a man. Look at the man at the top. He's fine. So they're going to follow you anywhere because either you are their man or they want you to be. And as such, they're not the kind of women we need either. So a lot of brothers, because I don't talk to so many kings of the niggas. You know, we got so many... Uh, kings of Morocco and emperors of Morocco and caliphs of Morocco and gods of Morocco and the Lord of America. I, 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 you know, if I talk to one more brother that's on some, I'm the new ruler of America and I'm the new ruler of, of Morocco and I'm the new ruler of the Moors, I'm probably going to scream because a lot of you guys don't get it. Now, the truth of the matter is we have so many kings, ain't nobody getting free. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all some pissy rulers because if you're all of that, why are we all still in trouble? Anyway, I'm digressing. My bad. Absolve me because I'm doing what I shouldn't be doing. Now, um, I want to give these sounds one more time. And because the show got kind of screwed up, I do think 
uh, I want to give you guys a science of how to get over stuff. And I'm trying to determine if I should bring the brother on 